hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we will continue our discussion with uh, the optoelectronics uh, devices and systems so far we have covered so the basic introductory concepts related to the optical communication systems uh, we discussed about the electromagnetic spectrum the optical spectral bands and also uh, some basic concepts related to the optical communication system so the most uh, important part you know, we discussed it in the optical communication system the block diagram representation of the optical communication communication system so the most important part uh, of uh, this uh, whole communication system is the channel okay the link between all these blocks the source and the destination the sender and the receiver so in optical communication system that communication channel that link that connects the sender and the receiver the source and the destination is the optical fiber okay now as i said each of these blocks in the optical communication system is a separate unit of optoelectronics a separate section in optoelectronics for example the optoelectronic source the optoelectronic detector the optical fiber the repeater coupler the transducers all form a separate section so the optical fibers is an important part of this optical communication system so we'll discuss all of these sections separately in detail but before that we must have some basic understanding about all of these things so that when we discuss them in detail we have a good idea so in today's video we are going to discuss some basic concepts related to optical fibers okay so the first and most important question what is an optical fiber so optical fibers are uh, basically cylindrical wave guides you know uh, that carry light you know in opto uh, optical communication the main data source is light you know so these wave guides they carry light through long distances with very few losses so that is the main task of an optical fiber to carry light from one point to another with very low losses now basically the optical fibers they are made up of silica glass and it's a very precise technique so the main mode of transmission of uh, light from one point to another source to destination is through the process of total internal reflection okay light gets totally internally reflected within the optical fiber to reach the source from source to destination and uh, data is sent by modulating one of the characteristics of light such as frequency wavelength amplitude using the modulation techniques we'll discuss about them in detail but right now i don't want to go into all of that so we are just discussing about the optical fibers and basic concepts now about the structure of the optical fiber so the optical fiber it has three main parts three main parts first is the core it is the innermost part then we have is the cladding which is a sort of coating over the core and then we have is the jacket which covers the core cladding combination so three parts core cladding and jacket and an optical fiber it basically looks something like this so here you see the innermost part the core cladding is surrounding the core and then we have as the outermost covering which is the 
jacket. Now let us discuss some basic things about uh, these uh, parts. So first we have is the core. So the core is the innermost cylindrical part. Okay, the innermost part. Now it is made up of pure silica. And the important characteristic feature which uh, has a very important effect on the transmission characteristics is the core diameter. Now we will discuss that in future. So this core diameter, it has an important role to play uh, while, uh, you know, when the transmission efficiency comes into question. So core diameter of uh, the optical fibers, it generally ranges from 1 micrometer to 100 micrometer. And uh, it has maximum refractive index. The core has the maximum refractive index of all the three parts. It is cladding and jacket. Okay. So then we will discuss about the cladding. Now the cladding is basically again a cylindrical structure. A cylindrical coating over the core material. Okay. So this cladding is uh, made up of also silica but doped with germanium or fluorine. And uh, the cladding diameter it ranges from 100 micrometer to 125 micrometer. And it has a it has a refractive index lower or lesser than that of the core. Now why it is done to facilitate total internal reflection. Now we have studied total internal reflection phenomena in the optics uh, section but still I will uh, make a video on it total internal reflection or propagation of light in optical fibers. So total internal reflection comes into play when light travels in between or from one a medium of uh, different refractive index to another medium of different refractive index, two mediums of uh, different refractive index okay basically from a denser medium to a rarer medium so here core is the optically denser medium cladding is the rarer medium because it has a lesser refractive index so these are some of the basic concepts related to core and cladding then we have is the outermost covering which is the jacket so this is the outermost coating on the optical fiber okay now it is made of some polymeric material and it has a thickness of about generally about 60 micrometer now the main objective of this jacket is to protect the core cladding combination now we know that uh, the optical fibers they are basically installed in uh, very adverse environmental conditions they are subjected to a uh, lot of extreme temperatures pressures uh, and also different weather conditions so in order to prevent the core cladding combination from any damage the jacket is used okay so these are the basic structural uh, units of the optical fiber the core cladding and the jacket now in the upcoming videos we are going to discuss how the core cladding and uh, basically the core and cladding okay these uh, the the parameters associated with core and cladding can be altered to give us different types of optical fibers different characteristic features so we'll study that so in this video i just wanted to make you acquainted with the basic uh, structure of the optical fiber so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much